welcome everybody to Chrono Reviews and this time it's another Figma and that is Aerial Mondial from Marco Go Lyrical Anoa Strikers and this is funny enough the only boy from the Nanoa series that have been Figma yet I'm still awaiting a hopeful release for Chronocon Chrono Harlan that is but uh, let's just hope for that but so far this is the only and another from uh, Fate Testarossa's Lightning Squad. We'll check him out. It's a typical Nanoha box, a little bit wider than the usual fig boxes. There is the uh, art on the side, there is the poses on the back. There's Vima and uh, the figure on the top, as well as the bottom. And there is a license mark there. Alright, here is Figma Aerial Mundial from Strikers. And as far as I can see, the sculpture and the paint job are clean and good as always on Figmas. You can see here the character look are very accurate. And the sculpture is nice as well and the clean paint jobs. And you have his cape and everything that resembles Fate Testarossa's because well, it's the same squad. So, for articulation, we have, of course, the uh, articulated head, up and down and sideways on a ball joint. And the torso is ball jointed as well, as well as the midsection. You can move uh, his arms on ball joint and the elbows and the hands, which is of course removable for different hands, of course. There's ball jointed legs, knee joints and ball jointed feet. And he stands pretty good on his own as well. And the accessories are of course the Figma bag, Figma stand with base an extra part that can be used to decrease the height of the stand because it's short. Yeah, this Figma is quite short, but just like the Young Nanoha and those. There is a set of hands, of course, to hold this device and to make other poses. There are alternate fringe. I don't know what the difference is, I think it's just mirrored. There is a shouting face for battles. And then there is of course his medical device Strada, which is a kind of lance. And this can have this part removed for alternate parts. And also the head of it, like this. And this part. In order to place either this different head which also have this as element rear part now I can't remember the names of all those modes because it was a while since I watched them there's this lance um, attack that's replacing the front that one there's also this one which have this one when he flies in an attack to um, with like jet engines and that is those exhaust flames pretty neat effects actually and that's it because that's the most of this device however I think that's pretty impressive amount of accessories for one device and also the device is freaking big because it's well it's taller than himself Right, here he is, in a very basic pose, but I think it's nice still. Standing ready, being very self-confident with Strada. Which is a quite tall device, as you see. The 
this figure was was uh, very easy and nice to pose, very smooth, nothing uh, getting in the way like some figures can have. And to size comparison, here is area with Fate Testarossa or in Strikers, Fate T Hala. And I think the size are pretty good. About a head shorter, and I think that's about correct. So, if you are a Strikers fan or just a total Figma collector, I highly recommend this figure. And if you like the character, especially, it is a very great figure to have. And I hope you enjoyed the review. So, wait until next time, which is Karo Rulush or how you pronounce it, Karo Rulush or ah, something. Uh, well, I'll see you next time. Sayonara.